Uh, hello, what is up everyone? RL57 here, back with yet another diecast car video. And looks like we finally found it. The Hot Wheels Monster Truck Nissan GTR R34 Skyline. So basically this is from the Fast and Furious theme and this particular monster truck is extremely rare and it's so so hard to find in stores especially when it's gonna hit in uh, I don't know maybe a uh, different country such as um, somewhere in the US maybe in Europe and uh, maybe Australia and well it is gonna be extremely difficult for you to find in stores because obviously one store will obviously get I don't know one or two boxes of this monster truck and basically this is the hardest to find basically once they've put it on shelves it's extremely hard to find this particular monster truck so yeah today we are going to review the Fast and Furious Nissan Skyline R34 so yeah let's move on to the back so yeah you have this um, R34 right here and then it says the name is Fast and Furious Nissan Skyline truck type is city uh, strength furious fighter and then it says uh, revy set go and here is all the list of cars you can pause the screen to um, check out all of the cars here and yeah let's go ahead and open this one up So oh, there's the uh, pressure bulb car. Let's move this to the side first. So here it is the ultimate Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Skyline. So, um, yeah, this particular monster truck was revealed in the uh, Hot Wheels uh, pre preview uh, I guess preview convention in early early this year no it was actually end of 2022 where they had this sort of like a preview showcase of what was coming in the uh, near future in 2023 and they did show the uh, basically the mold version or um, as they call it it's more of like the early version of the R34 monster truck and well basically they did show it but without delivery of course so yeah not not many of us were expecting it to be uh, the basically the fast and furious uh, livery to be on this and turned out it did it was quite unexpected for for the livery to basically come out because it, this is a uh, monster truck after all and you rarely see the uh, like movie themes to be in the Fast and Furious I mean the monster truck lineup but overall yeah it is such an awesome job what Mattel did for this one like it is just so cool to see a car like this an inspirational car basically the r34 skyline which is based out of the movie of fast and furious and was driven by paul walker who uh, sadly passed away previously and it has been an inspirational uh, thing to us Hot Wheels collectors and especially towards the uh, Fast and Furious fans especially that and it's such an honor to actually see and basically have this ca uh, car itself in person and oh my gosh Mattel just did an awesome job on this one so yeah, enough talking, let's go ahead and check this car out. So yeah, let's move on. Uh, first, this uh, side of course. Yeah, it has chrome silver rims as you can see right here. And then it says Hot Wheels right there. 
and uh, yeah you have the awesome looking uh, dotted stripes on the side right there and then uh, yeah that's basically it and then moving on to the front you have the detailed headlights I actually have a comparison here's this one from this like five pack if I'm not mistaken I do not have the car culture version it was so hard to find but anyways I'm just gonna compare the sides to you basically yeah, that's the difference between the uh, mainline, uh, I mean the mainline car, uh, five pack version on the left and uh, basically the um, monster truck version. Obviously, this does not have a front, so I don't need to show it. But yeah, look at the front detail. Let me just show it to you up close. So, as you can see, first of all, you have the headlights, which are pretty decently detailed. You have those like um, uh, signals, uh, the uh, hazard lights or whatever you call it. And then you have that front grille which just looks awesome. And then uh, moving on to the hood, you have the two stripes I forgot to show you. The two blue stripes moving from the hood to the bottom of the grill. grill. And then you have the hood scoop right here which... Uh, Honestly, looks pretty good as well. And then uh, you have the sponsors right here, KNN, uh, Toyota Tires, and right is that race? Oh, it's Sparkle actually, it's Sparkle. Sorry. So yeah, those are the all uh, all of the three. Uh, what do you call that? All of the three sponsors right there. You could kind of see the interior. I'm not entirely sure. I think there is no interior in this one because um yeah you can understand why moving on to the back you have the rear lights which are circle as you can see right there and then you have obviously the license plate 2f 2f too fast too furious 03 awesome and then you have the nissan logo right there as well and then you have a colored rear spoiler which honestly looks pretty cool yeah so uh yeah here it is let's just uh roll it around let's just uh, turn it so you could kind of see how it actually turns around when it comes to the uh monster trucks so it does come with a uh what do you call that the crushable car which i'll show you in a bit but um yeah you can uh appreciate the 360 first So yeah, the um, crushable car that it comes with is this orange, um, what do you call this, uh, this orange uh, crushable car right here. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but kind of seems like a cruise bruiser if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, overall pretty nice. I think if I'm not mistaken, this should be one of the rarest. Uh, monster trucks to be seen out there it is just so crazy to just see this casting in, in person actually like nobody is just oh my gosh it's just it's just so so hard to find one of these i i have no clue how it will be when it comes to other countries because um, yeah one there is a lot of uh, Paul Walker fans two there is many R34 fans three there's a lot of JDM fans as well especially uh, you yeah, when it comes to JDM many people are willing to collect no matter what the price is and for I don't know how much will they sell this on Amazon it should be I don't know how, how hundreds of dollars I guess it would be quite expensive when it comes to uh, Amazon basically but yeah overall this is such an amazing masterpiece made by Hot Wheels especially as the monster truck lineup like this is just insane just look at the detail that they've made 
it feels like it's a uh, car culture but instead you swap it with big wheels instead of the small ones and um, obviously you have that big chassis of that but sadly there is no interior which is um, completely fine I guess but yeah overall this is just such an amazing monster truck I think this is one of the best monster truck that I've seen so far and yeah there you go that is my review of the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Paul Walker's Fast and Furious R34 from uh, basically Fast and Furious of course once again I'd like to say thank you guys for watching see my other videos don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also if you have to leave a, down, a comment down below feel free to do so and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments once again thank you guys for watching